Welcome to my YouTube channel. I was planning to join. Um, today I'm going to be teaching you guys on how to do a penthouse roof design like this. Okay. Uh, one of my subscribers requested that I make this uh, video, so this is why I'm actually making this video. So, just to help you guys know how to design a roof, uh, that's a penthouse. Okay. All right. Uh, without any further ado, let's get right into the business. I'm going to delete the this roof now. I'm just going to untick this suspend roof and delete this one. I'll also delete this top one too. Okay. Now, once you guys have placed your concrete facial, just make sure, just make sure your concrete facial has been placed when you guys have placed it at the right location. What you guys want to do next is uh, before before I actually go into the video, let me try. And Make this walls to be the way it was. Okay, let's say something like this. Okay, so now once you guys have placed the concrete facial, just go to the second. Uh, sorry, the first story. So this is the this is the first story. Now, what I always do is I always draw the I always draw the roof. For the second story first that's for this one for the penthouse i always draw the roof okay now i'll go to the third story to draw the roof okay just go to for you to draw the roof just go to the roof tool select this select this okay and click the settings dialog come and select this side this one here this particular icon select this select this once you select this, change this to be 25, okay? Select this roof, this uh, this other one too, and change this to be whatever roof pitch you guys want to use, okay? I'm using 35 for now, but I'm still going to check how it's going to look like. And select this and change this to be 1 degrees. Click, click this multiple in geometry and change this to be 0, okay? Yours is going to be reading like, I think, 800 or 500. So change this one to be 0 and uh, click on OK. Once that is done, you can also come here and change your roof tile. You can change this, click on this tile roof and scroll down and come and change. You can change any any kind of design you want to use here. Okay. And if you click the, this by building materials, you can come here and change the kind of roof you want to use from this from this side here. Okay. Now I'm just going to take this. All right, now let's draw the roof. So I'm gonna draw the roof. Make and note that I'm not actually drawing the roof for the penthouse. Okay, so I'm just gonna click this. Once you've done this, okay, now go to your 3D view. Okay, as you can see, the roof is way above where we want it to be. So for you to make it to be down, just go to your south elevation. Now click the roof, click this dot here and drag it down. Make sure this drag is selected and drag it on the concrete facial. Click press escape and zoom out okay so now you have you have this if you go to your 3d view to check what you've done as you can see you have you have this okay this is no it's not bad okay well you can if you don't like this roof pitch you can you can always change it by clicking the roof and clicking the settings dialog and you can come here and change it to be let's say 37 click ok okay so it's gonna go up a little bit and every time you change the roof pitch, always go to your south elevation or any other elevation and click the roof and make sure it's being placed on the concrete facial. Okay. So once that is done, let's draw the let's draw the roof for the first story. Okay. Now for we to draw the roof for the first story, go to go to the second story. Alright. Okay. I'm going to the second story because the second story is going to show me where the concrete fascia is being placed on, okay? So that's 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 the only reason why I'm actually drawing from the second story, okay? Now, click the roof, 
and click the settings dialog and make sure all your settings is being properly placed okay now click ok and come and trace it out like this Now, note I'm I'm not, I'm not stopping from I'm not stopping here. I'm actually drawing the roof all around. Okay, I'm not stopping here. Okay, I'm just going all around and click here. Press continue. Now, once that is done, go to your 3D video check what you've done, and it's also fine like the other one. So, go to your south elevation. Now, click the roof press uh I said press <laughs> click this node here and make sure this drag is selected okay and bring this down like that okay so you have you have something like this now go to your 3dv to check what you've done okay now you have something like this this is actually nice okay um so now we want to increase the roof pitch okay we don't want this roof pitch it doesn't make the building look uh doesn't mean it didn't look great so click the roof scroll and change the roof pitch here is that how you change the roof pitch from when you click the roof is that, is that how you change the roof pitch from the settings dialog here this is it here or you can just scroll and change it from here so i'm going to be using 40 let me see let me, let me use 40 click enter so it raises up a little bit you can click it and give it just keep changing it until maybe the, the kind of root pitch you want you you're you are cool with it you can give it 42 click enter okay so now you have something like this so what you want to do next now is you want to try and remove this block okay you want to remove this block from the roof because you can't try to leave it that you can't you can't leave it like that it doesn't make any sense for you to remove the block just click on the roof okay now hold and shift on your keyboard and select the walls you don't want. Select the walls you don't want. Now right click and scroll down to Okay, before you do that, I'm I'm not actually getting something yet, but before you do that, press escape, click the roof, right click on the roof and click split into single plane rows. Click this. And click split anyway. So once that is done, click the roof, untick your suspend groups, hold and shift on your keyboard, click this, click the walls you don't want, okay? Click it and click this other side. Right click and select crop to single plane roof, okay? Select this and click this crop element, uh, crop element top because you don't want the upper side of the block to be shown. So just click crop and it's going to be gone automatically. Okay. Now, once, once this is done and you have this, it looks, it looks cooler, but the work is not yet done because if you actually go to the penthouse, as you can see, the roof is inside uh, the penthouse. Now, this is where the problem is. This is where the real work is because we have to remove this. Okay. We don't want this. Okay. So now we are going to go to the where the where this roof is located. We are going to go to we are going to go to the second story. Okay. Now we are going to select. Now let me just try and let me just try and show you guys something. If I go to my 3D view, let me see. Let me let me get let me go into the into the penthouse. Okay. I'm coming so okay this is the penthouse this particular side is good it's okay all right and this side too is not bad but if you go inside here you have the roof covering the building okay it's covering inside the room and also the toilet okay and you don't want you don't want this one too so now for you to do that let's go inside this inside the toilet now you are going to go to your story level where the toilet is located this is the toilet okay 
I'm going to remove that particular roof there. Okay. Now for you to do that, just click this particular side of the roof, or rather, make sure you uh, select your suspend groups. Now click this particular side of the roof because this is where the roof is. Now what you want to do next is select this node here and select this so subtract from polygon select this now just come inside here and just make a fine some just make something like this just make it a rectangle all right now you have this if you go to your 3d view it should be gone as you can see it is gone from the building and this place is opened let's go outside and check what we're actually doing and make sure i'm not making any errors okay so now you have something like this now it remains the room so for the room just click on the second story where the room is where that, where that particular room is located this is it okay so what you want to do is you want to click this particular side and you want to remove this particular side for you to do that just click and make sure this subtract subtract from polygon is selected and draw the side you don't want it to be shown just draw it out so you don't want all the side to be shown Come back to the side where you, where you begin uh, drawing the uh, the line, and just select it like that. Okay. Now, if you go to your 3D view, this should be gone. Okay. Now, if you go, let's go into the penthouse to check what we are doing. As you can see, this particular portion is gone. Okay. And we're also going to remove this this one too. Okay. So for we to remove it, we're just going, just going to go to the second story. And I'm going to select this one, okay? Now select this and make sure this one is selected and draw the portion where you don't want it to be seen. Just sketch something out, okay? Yeah, something like that. And go to your 3D view and this one should be gone, as you can see. So this is how to, how to do it. Now for this other side too, I'm going to remove this other one too. Now and it's located here. Okay, so select this side, select this node here, and draw the the part you don't want it to be shown. Okay, now let's go to the 3D view to check it out, and this particular part is gone. So and make sure that once once you are doing this, make sure you go outside and check the roof. Check the roof very well and make sure you're not making any errors. Okay, if you're making any errors, you have to go back and uh, redo it. Now let's remove this other side too. So go to the story and let's remove this side here. So select this one here and click the node. Make sure this one is selected and just cut this part out too. I'm just gonna cut this part out. Now go to your 3D video to check what you've done. And you have this, okay? Now let's go outside and check. I mean, um, as you can see, this is what I was talking about. So this particular side is opened. And don't worry yourself about it. So just click this side. Click this node here and stretch it inside like this. Hold on shift, make sure I'm making a straight line and just click. Okay, so you have something like this. Now go back and make sure you're not making a, a mistake. As you can see, we have something like this. We're actually making a mistake like this. So uh, this is what's going to happen now. Select this, select that node there and bring it uh, in, outside a little bit. Okay. Now let's go back into the to the building. Uh, we still have this. Uh, we are still having this error. So let's go to the plan and just try and remove it normally. Select this node here and just cut out this part. 
okay now go to your 3d view and as you can see this is already gone already so if you are to place the like let me see the let me see the the pop design it should be okay so just make sure is that it's just at this particular level okay all right and if you ever want to remove it completely you can just go back to your story level and just remove this again a little bit okay remove this again a little bit like this go to your 3d view and it should be gone as you can see it's already gone it's already on top of the concrete special now if you just go out let's go out and check what we are doing i make sure i'm not making any silly mistakes as you can see the design is actually called it's been complete okay and note it's going to be a bad idea if you were to change the roof pitch once you've already cut the the side of the penthouse like this other side so i would advise you not to change the roof pitch and if you do uh, you can edit it you know just the way you want it to be so this is how to do a penthouse roof design in Akikad. thank you for watching my video if my video has been of any help to you kindly subscribe comment and like and i'll see you in my next videos thank you